Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. So in today's video we are going to take a look at Internic. Internic is an interior asset library made available by the folks at Polygonic. They are known for their most popular Blender add-ons such as Botanic, Traffic, Materialic and Aquatic. Internic comes with over 800 hand-created, optimized and consistent assets for realistic interior renders with less VRAM usage. So if you are thinking of getting Internic, I will leave the link to this page in the description below. With Internic, you are also going to need the free Angon Asset Manager, also made available by Polygonic. Once you have downloaded it, hop on over to Blender, go over to Edit, Preferences, under Add-ons, click this drop-down menu and install the Angon add-on that you have downloaded. Once you install it, just click this drop-down menu and scroll down a bit. To install the Asset Pack, you just simply have to click on Install Asset Pack and locate to wherever you have downloaded it from Blender Market. In my case, it's right here. I'll select this file and you will see this menu right here. You just have to give it a location where you want the add-on to install Internic. So in my case, I'll just give it this location and now you can hit OK. And the installation was successful. Perfect. Now you can save preferences, close preferences. Now all you have to do is to tap N on your keyboard. And here you can see that we have a new panel called Polygonic. In here we have Angon panel. To get started, all you have to do is click browse assets and this is going to open the Angon asset browser in your viewport. And here you will be able to see all the available assets in the asset library. Since this video is for Internic, I'm gonna click on Internic and these are all the assets in the Internic asset pack right here. So here we have different types of filters that we can use to find the assets we want. We have tags, we have different categories in here. In the bathroom, we have subcategories, which makes it very easy to find the asset you're looking for. And in the decor, we have all these different types of subcategories that you can look into and get the asset you want. And this is super easy and intuitive. In the furniture, you have some sofas, chairs, bookshelves, cabinet, some more chairs, dressers, wardrobes, seating bag, and so on. So the list goes on and you can see that we have a total of 153 assets just in the furniture and if you go into the kitchen you have all these kitchen assets you can also filter through all the assets that are going to be used in the kitchen and we have over 241 for kitchen you can place clocks in the kitchen as well as chairs some of these cans that you want in the kitchen you can choose to add those and in the dining we have all these cups glasses, drinkware, some sockets to plug in some of your electronic devices. In the cafe we have again these all assets. So depending on what you want you can filter through here and so you also get ready mates and these are the scenes including bedrooms, hallways, pre-made kitchens as well, living rooms and so on. So this is what you get in here and now let's take a look at how we can import these. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and close this Angon Asset Browser and then I will split the view right here and I will turn this into Asset Browser. And here, let's say in ReadyMates, I want bedrooms. So here I would like to go with study room and I will just simply click on the name and it will import to wherever the 3D cursor is. And now I'm going to simply go into rendered mode and let those shaders compile super quick. And what I'm also going to do is I will go ahead and use physical starlight and atmosphere just to add the realistic lighting and atmosphere we all love. Of course, I will leave the link to this one as well in the description below. And now you can see how good it looks. Of course, if you want to edit the assets in the ready mates, all you have to do is to go over to the polygonic panel and click on editable to make all the assets editable. And now you can select individual assets and move them wherever you want, however you want and you can even edit these assets. Pretty handy. And if you want some more decoration on your table, you can simply go ahead and look for a PC. I'll go ahead and place my 3D cursor right here on the table and I will click on this desktop case and it is right in the scene. I'll just simply fast forward a bit and create a small scene.
with this asset pack all you have to do is to find the assets you want just simply click and drag them onto your scene and you can make a full complete interior render you can come right in here and start customizing the lights and as you can see that it looks very nice of course i have to increase the strength of the light and this is how it looks depending on the assets you have you can come right in here and start playing with the customizations to get the different colors of course different assets have different customizations if there is metal then the customizations will be different mostly you're not gonna need the customizations so internic is available on blender market and it's amazing because the amount of time it saves you is insane and this is definitely something you should check out so if you're interested in getting internic I will leave the link to it in the description below. So that's been it. Let me know what you guys think about Internic in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video or you found this video helpful, you can give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.